So in this video, we're going to prove that the square root of two is an irrational number. Now you might try to remember, what is an irrational number? It's any number that cannot be expressed as a fraction of two integers. So remember that rational means that the number can be expressed as a over b, where a and b are integers. So remember that z is the set of all integers and naturally b is not equal to zero. So this is gonna be set up as a proof by contradiction. So meaning that we're going to assume something and we're going to come up with two things that we also assume that cannot happen at the same time, thus forming a contradiction. So we're gonna say assume that the square root of two is rational and that means that the square root of 2 is equal to a over b as defined above. And we're going to stipulate that a and b have no common factor. So the way we write that, and we're going to discuss this later in the course, is that the greatest common divisor of a and b is 1. Okay, so that's a fancy way of saying that the greatest common factor between the two numbers is 1. So where do we go from here? Well, okay. I'm going to multiply both sides by b because that just seems like a good thing to do. Whoops, not the square root of b. So we have the square root of 2 times b is equal to a. And, you know, it seems logical to square both sides. So I'm going to, if we square both sides, we get, well, the square root of 2 squared is 2. b squared is equal to a squared. Now, this says something here. This is telling me that a squared is even because it's two times another number, right? Well, we saw in a previous proof that this means that a is also even. We proved by contraposition earlier that a squared being even implies that a is even, okay? So this means that a can be expressed as two, well, pick a letter we haven't used yet, k, where k is an integer. That is saying that k is an element of the integers. So then we're just going to go through and substitute that and see what happens. So we have 2b squared equals 2k, the quantity squared. And this means that 2b squared is equal to 4k squared. I'm going to divide both sides by 2 because we can. And would you look at this? This is now saying that b is even because it's 2 times something else. But wait a minute. We've run into a problem here. Up here, we said that a had to be even. And here, that means that b is even which means that the greatest common divisor of a and b is an even number. We don't know which one it is. It could be two, it could be four, six, eight, whatever. But the bottom line is we've contradicted ourselves because up here we said the greatest common divisor had to be one, and here we're saying it has to be something else. So this means the original assumption has fallen apart. Therefore, Therefore, the square root of 2 is not rational because when we try to say that it's rational, we get a bunch of nonsense. So there is a proof that the square root of 2 is not rational or, as we say, irrational. And a similar outline follows for any of the other square roots that are not perfect squares. So square root of 3, square root of 5, square root of 8, all of those are basically having the same framework. So hopefully that gives you a sense of how a proof by contradiction works. Stay tuned for more proof videos. We'll have some fun with this. Thanks so much.